Hello and welcome to Kerbal Sustram. I've accidentally... Wait a second, let's zoom back into the proper place. There we go. I accidentally uh, let that go long enough for it to uh, lose focus. Okay, so I created a helicopter in KSP. Um, it's not a proper helicopter because it doesn't have a rear blade to counteract the spin of the top blade. Um, but it seems that the collection of mods I have installed is perfectly fine with this, nor did I even have a back blade available to me. I actually looked for it. I was going to do that. You know, I was going to make it proper and everything, but uh, that wasn't actually available. So instead, I made this. So we have an avionics hub on the back. We've got fuel here, which is all gone. We've got fuel here. Uh, we're going through the fuel eh, not terribly quickly, but fairly quickly, I'd say. Um, we got a laser targeting pod, which of course I have aimed at the KSC right now. I'm going to uh, go attack them with my remaining armaments. It started with six Hellfire missiles. I've used four of them, and it has two Sidewinders. It also has this chain turret on here, uh, chain gun turret, M230, which I've used some of the ammo on, but not all. As you can see, there's a bunch of blown up stuff at the island base. Now, the thing is... All the stuff I've blown up at the island base, I was on Team A, so nothing, you know, tried to defend itself. But uh, now I'm going to attack the KSC, which is much more heavily armed, and is, um, whatchamacallit, it actually will try to kill me. So, um, yeah, let's hope things go well. Of course, I don't have laser range yet. It's uh, quite a distance away, and uh, this helicopter can only go about 70 meters per second towards a target. And I've been flying it for, well, look at the timer on the thing. It says 9 minutes, 10 minutes now. And I started recording this, like, what, 2 minutes ago? So, yeah. Well, 2 minutes ago, raw recording, but of course some of that was cut out the beginning. You know how it goes, right? You, you know how it goes. Anyhow, yes. So, I am on my way there. Oh, yes, there's also a parachute, as you can see here. A drogue chute and another one on the cockpit so that you probably can survive assuming the cockpit doesn't get taken out you can survive the uh, weapon manager is attached to the central piece which is also most likely to be blown up based on it's the central piece and uh, so you're most likely to survive uh, a combat encounter with this uh, helicopter or at least I think you're most likely to survive it I'm not sure yet I know I've served well Technically, I didn't survive the one encounter I was in with that because I didn't have the drogue chute on the bottom of the cockpit yet, and uh, I I fell to my death after the rest of the helicopter got blown up. But theoretically, at least, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, what is going to be a problem is that we're going to get attacked by radar quite badly. And actually, I've just completely lost the uh, no LR. Oh, we have LR now. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to uh, actually cause us to drop low though because I just realized. I actually want to come in and attack really low altitude because that's going to increase my chances of survival, especially because now things are in range. They're uh, going to start loading in, and uh, I don't want to die that much. I actually want to uh, have a hope in hell of surviving this. So things should be loading up now. Oh, no, where's... Oh, something's loaded. Something can see me. Shit, we're gonna have a missile after us pretty uh, pretty quickly here already, which is gonna be a problem. Uh, let's actually let's try and get lower and oh, is that a missile? I couldn't tell. Oh shit, I've uh, I've lost my uh, laser lock. Okay, there we go. Let's bring that back up. We're aiming, we're intending to take out the CIWS first because that will be the most dangerous. Um, there is a SAM site that can definitely see me. It hasn't tried to launch against me yet, though, which is interesting. Uh, so we're gonna hope that it won't be able to see me because I'm gonna hit the deck. Not literally hit the deck, but you know, fly down real low here. Alright, and what am I looking at? Yeah, of course, it's, it's, uh, cycled off of what I was actually trying to look at now. Alright, I'm gonna turn down the uh, rotor, actually. And... Okay. We have a laser. We have a laser. I'm gonna... Actually, I need to zoom out again. Are we raising altitude? No. We, yes. That's why I need to uh, go lower again. 
Okay, the main thing is that that is going to start shooting at us. And we want to take it out before it starts shooting at us. And, uh... Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. We've been locked. We've been made by a... Raise... Yeah. Laser... No, not laser. A, um... Oh, what's it called? A SAM sight, which is actually has fired at us. Oh, we don't have laser. We have no laser still. Hold on. Oh, shit. That's gonna come at us fast. Oh, sh... See, my mistake there was to, uh, kind of act like it was no big deal when really, uh, I should have been dodging that missile. Parachute, please. Thank you. Oh, shit, I'm being shot at still. Uh, was that the parachute that just got shot out? Yes, it was. And we've just been hit by another missile. And now we're falling straight out of the sky. Uh, not good. Not good. However, we have survived. And then popped, because, you know, KSP physics. And this is the thing we are going after. And as you can see, the bla the turret just stopped spinning. It got us. So yeah, there goes that. Oh, it bounced on loading. Nice. All right, so here's what we're going to do differently this time is... Oh, that did something slightly strange. We're going to... Um, actually, let's put that at two-thirds throttle. And it's weird how the animation doesn't catch up with the fact that we're flying. Also, I just noticed these turn on the ground, the uh, landing gear, it seems. All right, but what we're going to do this time that's going to be different, hopefully, is we're going to go over here just off the coast. And we're going to... Let's... Let's try not to gain altitude. In fact, let's see if we can get the uh, auto hover on this thing to work, which I tried using earlier and it didn't work. All right, let's... Okay, hover. Can you please hover me? I don't know if it will, but, you know, we can hope. One can hope. I don't think it's going to hover me. Okay, let's, let's not crash into the water, please. Okay, and Team B, radar receiving, and let's uh, target the gun. Okay, the problem is, is that our gun is right in front of the camera. Let's go ahead and arm the trigger, and let's have the uh, gun enabled. Oh, you know what? Uh, oof. We're going to be taken out by those, uh, by the turrets on the... Right, see, I'm worried about the SAM, but really what I should be more worried about, potentially, is actually the, um, hold on, let's, let's get this, oops, let's get this sort of in place so we can look at the, uh, SAM. The only problem is that, uh, it's not locked, so that's gonna be a problem. Alright, we need to go ahead and crest this hill in order to get a lock. Oh, and we are seeing now. We are seen. Oh, fuck it. Let's just go. Actually, no. Let's drop. Let's drop. Oh, hold on. Where's the... Lock target. Okay. Okay, okay. Interestingly, it, it hasn't fired at us yet. All right. It hasn't fired at us. Yeah, we're definitely on team B and it hasn't fired on us. Well then, let's take advantage of this to uh, take it the fuck out. Oh shit, what's... Okay. Let's uh, not get taken out by the... Oh shit, we, we need to maintain uh, laser for that missile to guide. All right, let's fire a second one. Okay. Looks like it got damaged or taken out. Oh shit, it got a missile away. Okay, diving. Oh, fuck. Okay, parachute please, thank you. And that's not gonna slow us down. <laughs> All right, and we switch to this, which is uh, what shot us. And uh, let's see, let's see. All right. Hellfire exploded due to overheating. Intercept missile exploded due to overheating. That's what killed us. 
and then everything else exploded. Oh, wait, no, no. That is when we took it out. Right. Then, uh, liquid fuel fuselage. I don't think it had one of those on it. So that's when, yeah, it's 215. That's when we got hit. And that's took out, uh, most of the things on our, yeah, most of the things on our ship. Uh, that all happened at 2 minutes 15 seconds, and then we fell into the water. So yes, that is what happened that time. I think, uh, let's, let's not revert. Let's actually launch a new one. And I forget if I already said it, so this, by the way, is the X-3B attack helicopter. And the B is for the uh, extra parachute. Uh, the X-3 represents GI's first attempts to create a reliable and capable helicopter. The B version contains an extra parachute for survivability. Yeah, that's essentially what I just told you, so yeah. It agrees with me, and as you can see, it's uh, it's got some laser-guided weapons, a couple heat seekers, and a chain gun, and you know, it's a basic design, but uh, it's uh, it's all right. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure, yes, the uh, launch site is correct, and hopefully, here goes a bounce and something useful. All right, trigger armed modules. Let's get uh, well, we're not gonna have to worry about radar really, even though we're gonna have it enabled. Uh, let's go ahead and get the let's go ahead and get this on, and so let's go ahead and we wanna. We want to be able to see. Let's, uh... Okay, so we're falling. We're, we're, we went up far too quickly for my tastes. So it's a bit of a cheat to uh, go ahead and line up before we actually start. But, uh... Whoops. I'm not going to use this to aim missiles. And I'm not going to allow the gun to automatically aim itself. I'm just going to use this to look at it. So, um... Okay, here goes potentially probably us dying. Switching teams, and... Okay, okay, and... Hold on. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and lock the turrets to it, and pretend like we have quick fingers, and we have now managed to lock onto it successfully. Wait for it, wait for it. I'm gonna wait till it starts shooting at us, and then I'll attack it. Oh, fuck. Whoops. Okay, you, you can definitely see me, you know. Alright, is it not gonna attack? Am I... Oh, it's because I'm directly above it! Fuck! As I figured, the moment it saw me... Fuck you. It took me out. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, the drogue chute is enough for us to survive, unless we land in water, potentially. Nope, okay, it allows us to survive in water landings as well. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, the other guy died, didn't he? The other one? He, he died. Let's, uh, let's, let's do that again. And this time, before I forget, I should actually disable the steering on these because they, they should not have steering. And do I have to do it, do I have to individually disable them all? Yes, yes I do, because for some reason landing gear are the one part in KSP that when you have symmetrically placed pairs, you go to edit them, and it doesn't edit the symmetry, it just edits one of them. And by landing gear I mean both wheels and landing gear, because because both of them do that, and it's kind of annoying. Man, I can just feel the amount of heat coming out of my computer, I know it is not happy- whoa, with me. <laughs> Let's not crash immediately after takeoff. Alright, modules. Radar targeting. Oh shit! Let's not crash. And um, weapons. Let's go ahead and select that. And uh, team B. Here goes nothing. Oh, it didn't attack. For some reason, it didn't attack. That's interesting. It's probably gonna attack uh, this time around. Uh, let's lock the turrets to this. No. Why is it not attacking? Oh, now it's attacking. Okay, down, 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 down. Dead. Dead. Flaming wreck. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Yep.
let's redo that from going up. Like, just let's go straight up and then attack from above. And we get this lovely uh, interior shot. If, if it had an interior. <laughs> yeah, since the uh, only weakness seems to be above the thing, I figure that's the uh, best place to attack it from. Let's go ahead and arm our trigger. Uh, get the targeting pod, radar. Let's go ahead and... Actually, no, let's not select it to start with. Let's go ahead and... Again, it's a bit cheaty for me to be doing this before we even start. But I don't care. See, I'm going to lock it there. Oh. Okay, that's pretty close. And let's go ahead and zoom in another level, and let's go ahead and switch teams, which means we might start getting attacked by that other one. No, it looks like we're not. All right, let's slave the turret to it. And... Oh, yes, let's go ahead and select the turret. So the turret should now be slaved to that. Oh, okay, it is, but I can't aim that far down. Right, got it. Well then, looks like it's time to just dive straight down. This is so not fair. I'm also missing massively, so I think it's alright. Woo! I hit something! Alright, let's pull up uh, a bit to see what I hit. I can't tell what I hit from this altitude. Ooh, something else hit. Alright, looks like I did alright on that target. Uh, oh shit, it's behind me, I can't see. But the other one might be attacking. Oh, fuck, what am I doing? Okay, uh, yeah, that's definitely fucked. Okay, let's uh, zoom out. And go around to over here. And go take a look at this target. And, yeah, I'm doing it the easy way, because I'm coming down from above. Let's go upside down towards it this time. All right, you ready? You ready to die? Because you're probably going to die, hopefully. And if it hasn't died, it's going to start shooting at me now. I think it died. Can't tell. Hold on. Oh, let's get... Oh, it's still... I don't know, I think it's out of ammo, but it's not dead. Alright. Oh yeah, it's dead. Never mind. It's dead. Yeah, so this is really effective if your enemies can't fight back. And that's about it. But, uh... <laughs> I never said I was good at helicopters. Did I? Did I? I don't think I did. Anyhow, let's, uh fly this low and dangerous. Oh shit, that was too low and too dangerous. We're gonna crash. At high velocities. You can see that's the thing I blew up earlier. It's very well blown up. A lot of explosions. Oh, more explosions. Nice. Um, you finished exploding yet? Okay. Well, that's all for this time. Thanks for watching, and as always, uh, see you in uh, space. Stuff like that.